Now then, so I thought I'd do a video to talk you through my latest build, which is this Harley Davidson XL 1200 Sportster. Uh, obviously, I've already made a bit of a start, but I thought this is a good point just to bring up speed and explain what ideas I've got and where I'm going with it. So yeah, let's get stuck into it. Uh, obviously, I've hardtailed it. Uh, I've used a TC, TC Bros hardtail kit, uh, hardtail frame, and obviously I've gone for these fat, chunky front and rear tyres. So I've gone for a bit of a bobber sort of style with this one. Um, I don't like to put things in boxes, but if you see my other builds, then you'll know the kind of bikes that I build. So yeah, fat front tyre. So I've kept the original rear 16 inch wheel and I've got a 16 inch wide glide front wheel on the front some Prelli tyres front and back. Now to get this in, it doesn't fit on the stock sports to front end because that's a narrow glide front end and it's too thin. So I've got some aftermarket wide glide forks on there. I don't know where they're from or what they're off, um, but they fit 35 mil forks. So I've had them drilled out so they can take the original 39 millimeter sports to forks. Um, Made some custom spacers, longer axle, all that good stuff. Gonna cut the mudguard uh, holders off, shave the front forks, hopefully, see how we go. Um, my idea for the front end is to kind of make it like beefy and strong looking, so I'm gonna get some uh, some tube, I'm gonna make some like some nice fork shrouds, and this whole front head bit I'm gonna sort of fill in. My idea is to make like a, like a headlight cowl with like a bit of an eyelet, um, like a bit of a hood over the headlight, which I'm planning on. Probably thinking about going for like a square headlight. LED, maybe have like some cool LED running lights. We'll see how we go. And the handlebars, there won't be these handlebars, these are just for moving it around. I might again have a go at making my own handlebars for this. I'm thinking of basically some, some Z bars. Um, yeah, see how we go. I want to do an internal throttle. I might go for an internal clutch as well. See how I go. You can see here as well, I need to drop the front end down a bit. That's why it's jacked up like it is to sort of sit the bike level. When I've got all the parts on and it's got like all its weight on it, then I'll decide where the forks need to sit. So yeah, that's on the sort of to-do list. Um, I'm also going to put a little bikini fairing down here. Uh, I've got some ideas for that. Just something small and neat. Um, the engine I'm just going to keep stock, 1200cc, plenty of beans in there. Uh, obviously I've cut down the cam cover, fairly common mode on these bikes. Uh, I've gone for a chain conversion, again very popular modification you do on a hardtail, which makes life a bit easier when you're customising these things. I will make a custom sprocket cover, I might even do a bit of a chain guard as well in there. Uh, moving on to the back, I've got this fender which I've sort of sliced to get the curve sitting right on the rear wheel. Um, it's a gas box fender, I like it because it's kind of like, it's really sturdy and thick. It's like nice thick metal so that's going to be really good for whatever holes and features I'll put into it. Now the sissy bar, the idea of the sissy bar is to put um, have some sort of some square plate running up because you know square CC bars are all the rage this summer so um, I'm gonna make it out of flat plate and I've got this idea of it sort of coming up and then sort of like following the profile of the edge of the mudguard round um, so we'll see how we go for that now the seat I'm gonna I'm not going to go for like the standard bobber seat on this. Usually, you just have like a little solo spring seat with some springs on. Oh, I, I find them. I have, I have a hard time with them. I find you just as soon as you open the throttle, you just slide straight off the back. So my idea with this is to go for a rigid mounted seat. Um, may my back bones forgive me, um, but I want something that really like sort of cups my bum, for want of a better term, so that when I open that throttle, it pulls me along with it. Um, yeah, so um, the exhaust, you can see I've made a start on the, on the front exhaust. The front one I'm going to take down the left hand side of the bike, and then the right one will come out, and I'm going to keep them high level. 
and I'll probably have to sort of kink out around the, mud, the oil tank and I've not decided how I'll terminate them but they'll finish off back here somehow maybe you know slash cut or turned out or whatever I'll figure that out I'm going to go with a stock carburetor um, make a nice custom air filter or bird deflector or whatever you want to call it but then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to mount the battery now I'm just going to keep the stock battery for now even though it's massive it's a really good battery and like lithium ion batteries are so expensive at the minute so I thought I'll start off and design for something big and then if I go small later it's easier to go smaller than it is to go bigger so I want to get that in next and mount that in here somewhere and the reason I need to mount this next in next is because I want to be able to get it out of the bike without having to take all the bike to pieces so when this is mounted this will then dictate how low I can come with my oil tank and um, my oil tank I'll like I'll, I want to fill this space up I'm not a big fan of big gaps on bikes so I'll sort of fill this space with my sort of oil tank that'll be all be just quite custom I'll make that out of sheet metal and my idea for that as well is on the left hand side I'm hoping I can make like a, a bit of an electrics box in there as well and have maybe like my fuses and some buttons and whatever else I need up there now my tanks my original idea and what I did is I bought some, a pair of these sort of uh, I think you call them flat side a fat bob tanks and I was going to do like I did on my shawl head which is basically chop them down to narrow it down a bit and then you know mount, mount them in the tank position for want of a better term but I don't know I've been thinking and I might have to go make my own tank and I'm not gonna um, you know spend hours bashing aluminium sheet I haven't got an English wheel and I've never done that before not that that usually stops me but um, I don't know I've got kind of an idea for maybe a bit more sort of square but with some rounded edges like I'm not going to do like a coffin tank but I'm, I still like the split tank idea but uh, yeah I've got some ideas so I might have a go at making something myself for that and then I'll probably do again something to my shovel head and make like a bit of a sort of a custom console type thing in the middle for maybe my speedo and some idiot lights and all that kind of stuff uh, what else I'm gonna have forward controls on it um, and yeah there's probably some other things I should mention um, the paint I'm probably just gonna cop out and paint it black to be honest gloss black but I might do something a bit different rather than it just being all just black I'll perhaps put like a bit of a pinstripe in it maybe a bit of red or a bit of gold or I might do it like metallic black or like a pearlescent black so when it's in the sunlight it looks good yeah we'll see how we go so yeah that's a very quick rundown of my sort of plans for this build and um, I've no idea how long it's gonna take me because that's life and I don't want to rush it I want to make sure I take the time and do the customizations that I want to do so um, yeah if you've got any questions please get in touch and I'll answer them and um, hopefully see you on the next video cheers ta -da.